Brown Loops and Post Malone. What do they have in common? Let's find out. In the hangar. Hello and welcome to a special edition of In the Hangar. I'm Dan Milliken. And I'm Christy Wong. We are located at the Flying Eyes booth here at AirVenture, where we did all of our taping this week. Yep. And I also want to point out that I am rocking a new You frame. are rocking new frames. I'm rocking new frames. These are called the Ninox, like the owl. Okay. So I kind of want to, I'm undecided as to whether or not I want to get these. So if you guys have an opinion. Oh, leave a comment. Leave, leave a comment hey, below. Be great. nice. Be nice. Be nice. A 10 out of 10. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and also, this is all made possible not only by Flying Eyes, but by Clemens Insurance. Jerry at Clemens Insurance saved me like four figures on my insurance for Lola and my CFI insurance. It, it, he's great. So check him out, clemensinsurance.net. Go, so Jerry. So, Christy, we have two incredible YouTubers Also on 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Let's, let's. We have Sean Leppert from Lepe Aviation. How are you doing, guys? Hey, it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you guys so much. And we have Owen from Fly With Owen. Thanks Thank for coming. You. All right, Appreciate so it. what do Ground Loops and Post Malone have in common? <laughs> Something with careers crashing, maybe? No, I'm just kidding. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> well, Sean, there. Sean, let's start with you. Uh, you had some really interesting videos from a year ago. Yes. Talk about that. Yes. Uh, so I'm a plane spotter on YouTube, converting slowly to do more pilot vlog stuff. But, uh, yeah, last year was my bread and butter here at Oshkosh. I was out here on the uh, the Sunday before the show when it was a direct crosswind gust into 30 knots. I remember that. Oh, wow. And yeah. there were, I think, five incidents or something that day. Thankfully, nobody was injured. Uh, but uh, I was I was uh, filming down right by place, the uh, right by show time. centers. Right place, right time. And there was a uh, session. Cessna 180 that ground looped and a uh, Cessna gear, uh, 310 that had its gear collapse on People it. love anarchy, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and immediately that shot right to the top. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Yep. Okay, okay, so, and then post Malone. Oh, Owen, you get, that, that's probably, is that good to be known as like Post, post Malone, Malone's Owen? Pilot? I suppose. <laughs> um, I guess backing up a little bit, so I'm a full time uh, contract pilot flying Gulfstreams and other aircraft. And uh, one of my clients, without disclosing too much information, is his team. So uh, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> uh, last year had the amazing opportunity to go on tour with them all over Europe and uh, oh, wow. and North America. An incredible experience. They're great people. And uh, just another one of the perks of being a corporate pilot, perks of the job. You know, I've always wondered, what is, what is it like to be like Taylor Swift's pilot? What is it like to be <laughs> like is, a... Is it all glamour? A lot of glamour. Um, okay. It's it's a different lifestyle from what anything I've ever experienced. It's quite incredible. Mm -hmm. All right, flying Europe. What's tell us some of the differences in flying a jet over in Europe versus here in the states. The fundament, fundamentals are the same. Um, little differences such as like transition altitude, for example, right. might be eight thousand as opposed to eighteen thousand right, here. Right, like flight level eight thousand. Exactly. Some eight, of the the small zero, terminology zero. is a little different, but for the most part, it's pretty easy to get get a hold of I, I would say the hardest part is understanding their accents France for example is <laughs> almost impossible to understand on the first try because their accents are so thick over the radio but um, it's it's a piece of cake um, all the all the handling the the the, uh, the planning that needs to go into a flight prior to it is insane compared to the United States. You can't just hop in and go. There's all sorts of coordination that has to go into it so but it's it's so much fl fun flying out there and Sean, you've had um, success as on your channel being a plane spotter. Uh, what's driving you now to move, kind of switch your look? Yeah, so it's been uh, it's been great connecting with Owen. He's been kind of a great mentor for me, actually. Uh, but I'm a full-time CFI out in Scottsdale, Arizona, slowly transitioning to flying uh, part-time contract jobs and jets. Um, so I'm uh, also working as a uh, sales director for a new startup sales and acquisition company out of Scottsdale. Oh, nice. So we uh, we just sold a Phenom 100, and I got uh, SIC typed on it just the other nice. day. Nice. And believe it or not, Everywhere. we're ferrying it all the way to Brazil from Scottsdale next month. Oh, wow. That yes. is going to pique her interest. She's a yeah. lovely yeah. Yeah, So, yeah, kind of the, you know, do the same learning things that, that Owen had to go through in Europe. It's going to be a whole different world down there, but we're you know, definitely excited. looking forward to it. I'm excited about yes. that. I want to go. I want to fly in Brazil. I want to fly Embraer's in Brazil. Yeah, going that, back to its homeland, right? I know, from <laughs> whence it came. The birthplace. Yes, yeah. Absolutely. But it's, it's, been a, it's been a wild ride just the past year, and uh, uh, Instagram's been blowing up, YouTube's been blowing up, and uh, I'm going to slowly start transitioning from uh, plane spotting, kind of how Owen got his start, too, um, to now doing 
uh, videos, uh, like pilot vlog style and, right. and all, anything I can get my hands well, on. Well, you know so. what's really great about your plane spotting is it's not just for pilots. Like, it's for airplane enthusiasts. You don't Absolutely. have to know or understand, of you course. know pilot things to appreciate airplanes. Absolutely. And I'm, I'm sure you guys have seen on YouTube all these these live guys who go live from like LAX yep. or, uh, or JFK or wherever it is. And, and mad respect. Hats off to those guys. They've got full crew setups and everything. But uh, oh, I, I tend me. to keep it simple. The live I keep from it VFW simple. guys. I, have n I, I don't know what we're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So these guys on YouTube, they're, they're actually incredible. <laughs> Kevin and I watch them. Um, they will literally get set up like at Founders Plaza, for example, at okay. DFW Airport. They have a whole crew like this. So is this all part of the spotters? Kind yes, of thing? it is. And okay. they go out there and they will literally sit there, but they tag the airplane like live. Yeah. What it is, where it's from, etc. Yeah, it's kind of like you guys, where you have two people behind the mic. They're saying, yep. "Hey, this is Lufthansa taking off to Frankfurt." Oh, look or at the, yeah, exactly. Oh, wow. And they just oh, kind I didn't of know that was mil they, millions right, of people. Right, that is follow. a thing. And like, yeah, like yeah. a gazillion people follow these. Kevin and I watch these oh, like wow. airplane spotters. Yeah. It's a good. It, it's really cool to put on in the background. You know, it's kind of funny. My grandmother from back home, she lives in northern Michigan, and she has a little group of ladies who actually sit there and, and watch them on the screen. Oh, oh my gosh. So yeah, it's, it's like a little pastime thing, Yeah, I guess. exactly. <laughs> so, right, like just like I said, airplane enthusiasts, yep. even grandma. And not even airplane enthusiasts. Everybody just loves watching airplanes, right? Airplanes it's, are it's, cool. It's, airplanes are cool. I've been seeing it for years. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, and uh, Sean was saying that's how you started as a spotter. It, and how did, you, where are you taking your channel? My channel is focused mostly on pilot vlogs, showcasing the corporate pilot life, if you will. Um, there's not a whole lot of that out there, obviously, because that sector of aviation is kept rather private. Right. Um, I'm lucky to fly for a few people who allow me to share yeah. um, that side of the industry, which I'm very lucky. Um, so that's kind of what it's focused on. All my flying adventures as a whole. Of course, I do some fun flying as well. So anything interesting is kind of what, what you'll find on the channel. That do you I do. fly part 91 or part 135? All 91. All 91. See, there you go. That's the difference. That's why I can't just throw the GoPros or whatever up in the airplanes when I fly 121 is that right. it's restricted. But if you're flying under part 91, you can do that. Yeah. Okay. So ratings, where are you at? I have my ATP, okay. I'm PIC typed in the Gulfstream 4, the Citation 500 series, and I have an SIC in the G1159, which covers the G3 and the G2 Gulfstreams. Nice. All right, Sean? Yep, I'm a uh, full-time CFI, and uh, just recently I got a, a type SIC type rating in a Embraer Phenom 100. Things loud. <laughs> Wish I was typed in that. <laughs> um, Chrissy's going to be on one tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Yeah. But SIC in the Phenom 100 and uh, also SIC in a uh, Citation Bravo. So. Yeah. All right. Citation double 500s. I? Uh, no double I. But you're going to afford it, it. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe after he gets that type rating and Maybe after that. making we'll all see. that jet pilot money. <laughs> okay. Your out of your channel, your favorite video. We'll start here with Owen. Mine's got to be my most popular one, which is a day in the life of a private jet pilot. It kind of encompasses everything, um, starting, it covers kind of the whole pre-flight. Of course, the flight, I, you know, I interview my co-captain, who's also very experienced and knowledgeable. And then it also covers some of the post-flight, where we go to the concert, you know, go backstage, go to the after parties. So it kind of covers the whole day from start to finish, which... To me, I found really fascinating. I think a lot of other people did too. So, Sean? Yeah, so I, I can't really say that the videos of two incidents at Oshkosh were my favorite ones, because thankfully they were okay. <laughs> but right. um, there was a, a great uh, compilation I did where I filmed just a whole bunch of crosswind arrivals and just everybody's struggling. Oh, those are so fun. And those are that, so fun. <laughs> that was one of my favorite favorite ones I filmed. But also the one of the newer ones that I've done where I flew the, uh, the Phenom 100. We filed to uh, Scottsdale to Mesa Gateway, which is about 20 miles away yeah, from not, each other. Yeah, but we filed to go up to 41,000 feet. <laughs> Wow. wow. Uh, a maintenance flight, testing oh, okay. the uh, hydraulics that, that, and the pressurization. Say, you can only do that like on a maintenance <laughs> but, flight. But uh, wow. that's, that's kind of my transition point. Yeah. Transition point from plane spying to now doing flight vlog stuff. Got a whole yeah. cinematic setup and just trying to do go all out best as I can trying to, to do something like that. I hear you guys had a special arrival into Osh. Something about you guys getting to cut in line? 
Yeah, it was uh, it was pretty sweet. We, uh, courtesy of uh, Rad Dad Brad on Instagram, uh, he cr uh, gracefully allowed us to uh, ride along in his Citation Mustang. Oh wow! A Citation Mustang. Yeah. What, what is? I'm sorry, I'm not up to date on my Citation models. What's a Mustang? The baby Citation. Yeah, it's, oh. the, it's the little itty bitty T tail. Wow. Okay. So yeah. I'm assuming you guys weren't like holding over Fisk in a citation. No, he'll, I'll have him talk about the uh, actual arrival in Dosh, but we started in uh, Santa Ana, uh, <laughs> flew up to Provo. I took the leg from Provo to Sioux Falls, and then he hopped in the front for the arrival in Dosh, Kosh. Okay. So it was actually my first time coming in on the Warbird arrival. Um, I, I had never done that arrival before, so the whole flight, um, Brad and I up front, we were briefing the arrival, um, coming up with the game plan as well as um, if something were to go wrong, for example, what we would do um, if in that scenario. But it, it ended up being super easy, actually. Um, we kind of, as we were coming in, we were watching the, the the radar that showed all the line of planes coming in on the Fisk arrival, and here we are coming around, away from all the madness, Cut and uh, riding That's over Warbird Island, and snuck right in on uh, 36 right, which is the taxiway. Yeah, they put us on the taxiway, not the yeah. big runway. Okay, well, I mean, you're in the baby citation. Right. So that makes sense. That makes do sense. Do they park you in the grass? No, we had parking arranged at the Hilton. I don't know if parking the, in the grass. Oh, my, and that oh I guess thing if you're going to come in on a citation, you might as well stay at the thousand dollar night Hilton. There you go. Fair enough. That's how Brad rolls. What is one thing that your fans might not know about you guys, Sean? Oh boy. Um. <laughs> I know I put you on the spot. I guess. Uh, I mean, a lot of people really don't know what I do behind the scenes. The people the think I, I just go film airplanes all day, which I mean was true for about 10, 12 years. But <laughs> right. uh, but yeah, I'm, I am a full-time CFI, fly jets and, and the whole nine yards. So Do you have aspirations to go like airlines or corporate? Hey, you or? know, me working as a sales director for this company in Scottsdale, it's it's been a, a sweet, sweet gig. So awesome. I think I'm going to stay on the corporate side of the nice. industry for a while. So. All right. Owen? I'll say something completely non-aviation related Perfect. that I guarantee I like you don't know about me. I have played the violin for almost 20 years. Wow. That is cool. Actually, I have a non-aviation thing, too. All okay. right. Uh, I can solve a Rubik's Cube in, a, in about 10 seconds. <laughs> wow. No okay. way. Okay. All right. Well, there you go. Well, guys, thanks so much for coming on the channel. Of course. Thanks, thanks for having us. It's a pleasure. Us. Thank you so much. It's great having you. And thank you guys for watching. Don't forget our sponsors. We mentioned a couple at the front, but also Colton Mortgage. For your residential mortgage, ColtonTakingOff.com, Z-Vision, the brightest landing and taxi lights out there. We've also got 67 designs, best camera mounts uh, that you can have in your plane. And MPS protects. Marshall Protective Services, private security elevated. So thank you guys, and uh, don't forget to check out their channels. Uh, make sure you subscribe to everybody here and watch the videos. That's the best way you can help support us. All right. Our, we'll see you guys next time. In the hangar. I'm distracted by airplanes out here. Look at this. Yeah.